All right, we're here with Bill Chen, and you're in uh, a research part of uh, MSN, that's correct, right. with the Virtual Earth team. That's right. And you've got something that you're going to show us here today that's uh, a pretty cool uh, twist on uh, Virtual Earth. Tell us a little bit about this. Sure. Um, today I'll talk about um, this system that we've created called, um, which integrates videos and maps for driving directions. Uh, let me just first say that this is a work in collaboration with several people, uh, Boris Newbert, A.O. Ofec, Oliver Doyson and uh, Michael Cohen at Microsoft Research. Mm -hmm. um, so what we were looking at um, was how can we create a better driving, uh, dr driving direction to do is to build a system that lets you preview your driving directions before you actually get in the car. So the idea is that you know you might be sitting uh, um, at home on your in front of your desktop and you might use this application and it provides you this visual preview of your driving route before you get into the car. When you get into the car, when you actually drive, you might go, oh, I remember seeing that turn you know, in this video uh, application that I, that I was using. Yeah. And so that will kind of help you drive the first time you navigate to a destination. Mm -hmm. So let me talk a little bit about the input to the system. Um, so the input to the system is uh, this sequence of panoramas. Um, this is a video sequence that I've created from a sequence of panoramas captured as street level imagery. So it's a 360 degree uh, field of view. So this is the typical type of imagery that a, uh, a car that's picking up the street level stuff for uh, virtual earth would see? That's right. Um, it's 360 degrees captured at some distance, say a couple meters apart. And here I've just created a, a video from that. So this is the input to our system, this wide angle uh, video. Now, if I were to simply crop this video to the forward looking direction, we would get something that looks like this. Now, if our driving route was 20 minutes long, we wouldn't want to watch a 20 minute video. Yeah, yeah. However, if we just sped it up, as you can see here, then we kind of miss a lot of the turns and important landmarks. So that's their first uh, enhancement to the video. We first uh, slow down at the turns and the landmarks and speed up in between. Now, one thing you might notice from this video is that it still seems unnatural at the turns. And that's because we're looking straight uh, along the forward direction. Mm -hmm. And when we make the turn, it seems like I'm turning and then I make an abrupt uh, left turn as, yeah, I, as I turn. Yeah. And in reality, that's not how we actually uh, turn when we drive, right? When we drive, if we make a right turn, we kind of turn our heads to the right yeah. and anticipate the turn. So the second feature that we've added to this video is to add a turn anticipation. And expand this here. So it's the same sequence. And I'm going to make this left turn. But before um, I make the left turn, I'm going to first anticipate by crop, moving the cropping window in this panorama towards that turn. So as I approach this left turn, you notice that I Very cool. turn yeah. to the left. And this gives us a more uh, continuous experience when we uh, look at the, along this driving route. Very cool. So here it is again. And so this, in theory, could run on like a, a Windows mobile phone with an internet connection as well. That's right. Nice. Mm -hmm. So another thing that we added to this um, video experience is uh, well, when we actually make the turn, there are certain, as you mentioned, certain buildings that we may want to emphasize. And so we were thinking about how can we emphasize those buildings when we make the turn. And to do that, we introduce um, a new idea called uh, uh, landmark thumbnails. Mm -hmm. And the idea here, let me just pause it again. The idea is that we should really take advantage of the full wide field of view that we actually have. As, a, as you remember, the input was a sequence of panoramas, these 360 degree uh, videos. Yeah. And well, that means that we have a lot more information than what I'm just showing you in this cropping window. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that when we approach a landmark or a turn, that the landmark will um, kind of expand over to the left as, we, as it kind of moves away from the, the center window. And the idea is to help to expand it and then freeze it to give us some more um, time to imprint that into our memories. Yeah. So as I make this left turn, you notice that the field of view expands to encompass this building, this landmark, and it freezes for a few seconds. 
to help us kind of imprint it into our memory. Here's another landmark on the left. Let me show that to you again. So as we make this left turn, it expands the field of view to show the landmark, freezes it for a few seconds, and now we go to the next turn. So now we have this enhanced video, which is a video along your driving route. It slows down at the turns. It has the turn anticipation to give you this continuity, and it has the landmark thumbnails to kind of pull out the important landmark to say, hey, this is something that you might want to remember when you actually drive. Mm -hmm. So this video experience, this video, is what we then feed into a mapping application. And the idea is that with a, with a map, then you can kind of see where am I actually uh, geographically uh, when I'm playing this video. Yeah. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is our um, video map uh, application. Um, on the left, uh, for example, are the uh, driving directions. Mm -hmm. So the first might be turn left on Brockman Gasse. And these are the snapshots of the landmarks that we should recognize. That's right. So those landmark thumbnails you just saw earlier that were peeling off from the video, those are exactly the snapshots that you see below each driving direction. You've got a clear arrow that tells you which way you're supposed to be turning when you see that landmark. Right. Great. And on the right um, is an interactive map. So this is using our Bing Maps. And we're focused over uh, Graz, Austria. And along the, along the, on the map, along the on the map itself, you see a green route which shows you the, uh, the driving direction for that video. Mm -hmm. And on the right is the, uh, that video that I showed you earlier that we processed. So this video is a video that will slow down at the landmarks, have turn anticipation, and it's going to peel off. Its field of view is going to expand when it, when it sees a, a particular landmark. Cool. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and press play. And um, it'll start playing the video, and the map is synchronized to the video you'll see that there will be a dot. In this case, there's a blue dot here, which represents the position of the video on the map. Mm -hmm. So let's start it off and press play. So here, here you see that we've zoomed in to this uh, position on the map, and we're making a left turn. And at this left turn, the uh, video will, uh, let's see here. Oh, OK, right. On the left turn, the landmark is on the left, and the video will expand to the left and show you that this is the building you should remember mm -hmm. when you make that turn. Here we pass a landmark on the left, and again the field of view expands, and we show you that this is the landmark that you should remember. Awesome. Now the map, um, you can see that it's automatically panning and zooming. I'm not touching it uh, at all. Mm -hmm. And it moves automatically with respect to the speed of the video. So as the video slows down to uh, show a landmark, the map will zoom in, as you see here. And as the uh, video speeds up in between landmarks, it'll zoom out to give us some more context. Mm -hmm. So this is, kind of, this is our uh, interactive application. The idea is that um, in a desktop scenario experience, when we print out the driving directions, say the driving directions you see on the left, you might get a 30-second experience here that you can watch and interact with to familiarize yourself with the visual aspect of the road. Yeah, very cool. And uh, where can people find out more about this? Um, there's a website uh, that uh, there's the, there's a website that you can uh, okay, and we'll put that in the the text for this video, so you can just go there and and uh, link over. That's and right. what are the future plans for this? Any idea or anything we can talk about yet? Uh, we're definitely thinking about uh, directions on how to put this into a shipping product, and also for the mobile application, mobile Very platform cool. as well. Nice. Well, thanks for showing us this today. Thank you.